Hello, beautiful family, lovers of good things, lovers of important personnel all over the globe. I bring greetings from a grateful heart. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your time zone. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. I just can't thank you enough. In fact, my coalistic people, I am here again to give you the latest update from Mazi in Abdikanu. All the way from DSS Custody, Abuja, Nigeria. You guys know that Mazinam Dikanu is still in DSS Custody. <laughs> the energy that we have, all the energy that people have that I see, the energy that some Biafrans have to fight on social media, to give each other names, <laughs> to say what is right and what is bad. The main energy that they should put on their leader, Mazenam the Kanu. The main energy that they should distribute this energy to fight for what is right. No. The energy that they will use to bomb blast every blessed day. Creating awareness. Calling on the world to hear the cry of Mazenam the Kanu. No. They are using that energy to, to fight fight that is not relevant. Now. The barrister that went to visit Mazina the Kanu and Mazina the Kanu's younger sister <laughs> hit the update this evening. Now, hear the news in details. Barrister Maswe Opara said, Hello, friends. Just came out from DSS headquarters, Abuja, where I went to visit Mazi Inam the Kanu with his sister. When they brought Mazina the Kanu out from the the solitary confinement facility where they kept him to the waiting room where i was waiting to see him he was looking very tired mm, and i asked to know how he was feeling he complained of weakness of the body and chest pain and always feeling like vomiting while we were still discussing. He cut off our discussion and rushed into the toilet and started vomiting. In my presence, I rushed in and held him for a while. He said that I should ask his sister, who was waiting to come in to wait for a while because he needed to have a little rest before further discussion with anyone i went out and narrate what happened to the dss that brought him from the cell in the presence of his sister dear and then his sister started crying and i left because the time alluded to me has enlapsed please let the federal government allow Mazenam the Kanu to have access to his own personal medical experts for his proper medical examination. Maswe Upara. Hmm. You guys see that what he said to you, don't think it twice. He said, Mazenam the Kanu is vomiting like, feeling so weak and tired. And the sister started to cry. When they went, when he was discussing with Mazina, the Kanu, Mazina the Kanu rushed into the toilet to vomit, and he held him. Mazina the Kanu said, "He don't even have strength to talk. They should tell the sister to wait a little while, while he have some rest, so that he can come back and communicate with her more better." This is what we are saying, you know, the energy you are using to fight yourself, my people. Use it to create awareness for Mazi Inam Dikanu. These are some reactions from Nigerians. They said, oh God, please help your son. Even if they refuse to give him medical attention, please may you be his doctor. May your divine healing come upon his body and soul. Give him strength that we baffle our enemies. Make them know that we have a living God. This I ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And another person said, Shay, this is bad news. God of mercy, 
You have been keeping him up to this time. Don't let anything happen to him. Lay your healing hands on him, please. We beg you, O oh Lord. And another person said, Anytime I see right up like this, my heart's broken. Well, God, where are you answering our prayers over this issue? Please. Since from the day court strike at all the useless petition over the Nigeria government refused to obey law, hmm, I rest my word. Then another person said, Nigeria government are creating more problems to themselves. Let this man go. The earlier, the better. Now, the bottom line is, Mazina the Kanu need to be out. Mazina the Kanu needs urgent medical attention. Hey, these days you will see that people are no longer talking about Mazina the Kanu. <laughs> these days you will see that everybody they are sleeping, or the ones that are sleeping are sleeping, the ones that are waking up open their eyes, but they can't use it to see clearly. <laughs> All the best every time you come at is to fight. Oh, oh, oh. How will they take you serious? They will not because. The time you used to attack yourself, you used that time and build awareness. You used that time and create awareness. But no, everybody wants to become a leader. Everybody wants his voice to be heard. Mazinab the Kanu is suffering for people that, believe me, they've abandoned him. Honestly speaking, Mazinab the Kanu is there suffering for people that did not care. I will say it the way it is. A lot of people abandon Mazinab the Kanu. Yes, so a lot of people has indirectly speak to him and said, Oga, carry your cross. Mazinab the Kanu will be in that place thinking that, oh, I am suffering for people. Come, they don't follow Peter or be finished. <laughs> the people Mazinab the Kanu is fighting for, they've already followed politicians. So the people Mazinab the Kanu is fighting for, they believe in one Nigeria presently. They don't believe in Biafra. I am telling you the truth. They don't believe in Biafra. And again, not following Peter Obi or following politicians or doing election is the war, but they don't even remember the name of Mazinab the Kanu anymore. You don't hear Mazinab the Kanu in their mouth anymore. Neither is Mazinab the Kanu even in their page. The Mazinab the Kanu picture they use as tunnels. They've removed it. They don't do anything about him. They don't bring updates about him. They don't talk about him. They don't put his picture on their, on, on their page anymore. Anywhere, you don't see anything. You don't even hear anything about Mazinab the Kanu. Oh, Biafra. <laughs> Those are the people that Mazinab the Kanu is fighting for. If I am opportune to send message to Mazinab the Kanu, if I am opportune to see Mazinab the Kanu today to send message to him, I will say, brother, retrace. Yes, I say so. Retrace. Change everything. Your family, your children, your loved ones, your well wishers, they need you and they need you alive. Yes, they need you alive. Brother, retrace. Mazi, retrace. These people don't want it. Honestly speaking, retrace. Restrategize. Revisit your constitution. Revisit everything. Revisit the past. Sit down and think well. Sit down and, and imagine right from 2011 to date how you have suffered people that were with you. Presently, the ones that are with you, they are so few. So few. That is why I am saying, if I am opportune to talk to Mazina the Kanu, I will say Mazina the Kanu rethink. Mazina the Kanu reshuffle. Because people that love you need you alive. People that love you need you alive. Your children need you. Your family need you. Your loved ones, they need you. Man, say, in Abdekanu. But we are not going to talk too much because we know very well that God, in his infinite mercy, we keep protecting him. For a very long time, you don't even get update about Biafra. <laughs> there are a lot of people that don't even talk about Biafra anymore. If you talk about Biafra, it looks like, hey, who is this? What are you saying? Those are people that have once championed Biafra. But today, Biafra is not even in their mouth anymore. Neither their agenda. <laughs> Mazina the Kanu. 
I will not say they have left you because even if the world forsake you, God will never forsake you. God knows your heart. And it is so painful that a man like you, that love a lot of people willingly from your heart, you are a good example of when they say somebody fight for freedom, somebody is fighting for his or her people, you are the best example. Today, if you talk, they will tell you that you are not a Biafra. Go and see that you are Sabo, you are this. Mazinab Dikanu did not fight for only people in Southeast. Mazinab Dikanu did not fight for only Biafra. Mazinab Dikanu fight for all. He fights for all. He fought a good fight. Honestly speaking, he deserved to enjoy. He deserved to feel more better. A lot of people today, they are at home with their children, their wife, taking care of them and all that. Mazinab Dikanu is in somewhere alone. Vomiting money, afternoon and evening. Come on. The federal government of Nigeria, please release Mazi in Amdekanu. If not for nothing, release him. Let him take care of himself. His head is so important. He is so dear to a lot of people. Let's please release him. At this moment, it's just God alone because if they tell you that they find one case, they do want it, um, all those things. Now, Jege. I'm telling you, for a very long time, you know, we've not been hearing any case about Mazinab the Kanu going to court or not going to court. It's just there. But some people are working freely. Oh my goodness. Mazinab the Kanu deserves to live. But we know that God will do it. The fact that a lot of people fail Mazinab the Kanu, there are still some that say, oh, my father, Mazin Abdikanu, I will not leave you. They are still there. He still have people that speak for him. And I know that God will do his own wonders. That Mazin Abdikanu will be released. And we are calling on everyone, please. Create awareness. Let the world know that the federal government of Nigeria should release Maze in Amdekanu for peace to reign, for betterment of everyone. So, my colleagues, people, let me bring this update to you because a lot is going on right now. Uh, please do want to share this video, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much, and bye bye.